Okay, let's um, discuss about um, your vision, what will happen to nations. Yeah, you asked me about nations. I, I don't see nations going away unless they do something wrong. Um, and wrong could, it could be like genocide, wrong could be uh, over taxation. Um, generally, you know, humans hate change and the, um, the idea of your, of your belonging to a country or a state is part of your identity. It's, it's really hard to rip that out of people's heads. Um, and so I, I, I can't, I can't dream of a world where there's not a California, you know, that there's just, you're part of the world, you know, or you're not a, an American or you're not a German or you're not a Chinese. So much money. I mean, I was just at the Olympics, right? So much money is spent in marketing and reinforcing the idea of your country. You know, we have songs, we have cultural music, we have movies made about, you know, your countries. Um, we have dance about, if you know, we all know uh, the Gagnum styles from South Korea, right? How, how do we unhook the idea that you belong to a, a, a nation or a country or a state or a city Wow, that's that. I I can't imagine that kind of world. I could imagine a world where one nation goes away and changes leadership, or uh, or gets joined with another nation, you know, through war, or through whatever, you know, or particularly if that nation does something really bad. I I can see California government getting uh, not overthrown, but right now we're bankrupt, right? We we don't have enough money, I, and there will be uh, changes, but. The idea that nations go away completely is, I, I can't imagine, I, I can't even dream about such a world. Such a world would be like an alien world to me. Uh, and, and maybe a science fiction author can bring me there, but I, I, I can't imagine that. Um, I could imagine a world where, where uh, uh, the importance of government gets disrupted a bit because we have the ability to vote in real time, I mean, I was sitting next to Randy Zuckerberg at the World Economic Forum, and she was listening to, I, I forget the speaker at the time, maybe President Clinton, and she was asking everybody on Facebook questions and seeing hundreds of thousands of answers in real time, within seconds, come back. Is that a new kind of governance? Couldn't a government uh, govern this way and, and be able to hear from its constituency what people want in real time? And everybody could see it, and everybody could, you know, on Go Pull Go, this company that started up, that ABC News is using, you can click on a city and see how that city uh, voted versus New York, or versus Dublin, or versus Munich, or versus Shanghai, right? And so you could see difference in people's behavior patterns. It's, um, I could see that leading to a new kind of governance. Um, certainly, taxation is going to change because money. You know, when I was growing up, money was paper you put in your pocket or, or coins you, know, you put in your pocket. And then we got credit cards, a piece of plastic. And now we're using Uber, which I could pay for a taxi without even t passing anything to the driver, right? I just buy, just the, the mere fact that I'm in the taxi means that the taxi driver gets paid. And I, and I, something from my accounts goes to his. So... Taxation could radically change and will radically change because of the payment systems are changing. Um, the way, the way, you know, when you're out here, by the way, on a, on a day when like, like the iPhones get delivered, you just see FedEx truck, FedEx truck, FedEx truck, or UPS truck, UPS truck, all day long, just delivering these things from Amazon and from Apple. And uh, you can tell the world has changed. We don't, go shopping at malls anymore we're buying more and more every day on on our screens and asking it to get delivered to us that's radically changing what a government what a state is because states used to get sales tax from the store when you went to buy a vcr right now that vcr comes from out of state and they're not able to collect the taxes easily so that and there's new laws being written as we speak about that um what else would I, Okay, I mean, I, you know, uh, 
there's still going to be need, needs to be somebody to pave the road and teach the kids and and take care of the poor and and uh, you know build hospitals and build infrastructure for our lives and government is still going to be the most efficient way to do that I don't see that changing so I I don't know I you got to ask somebody uh, with a more futuristic mind than mine <laughs> to about where the the future of the nation or future of the state or future of the city is going.